guys, so today I have another foundation review and it's going to be kind of like a first impression review kind of video as always. And it's going to be on the new Healthy Skin Harmony Foundation by Max Factor. This is what it looks like. Here's just a little close up of it. I got the shade Caramel. So this foundation is $13.99. Um, you get a good 30ml, 30 30ml, 30 so it's standard amount. It's a bit pricier than other drugstore brands that I've been reviewing lately. So on the website, well I'm on the Superdrug website and it says this foundation is a multitasking product that will help you achieve a flawless and radiant healthy skin look in one application. The new foundation is better for your skin than wearing no makeup at all. Max Factor Healthy Skin Harmony Miracle Foundation is a hybrid, hybrid makeup with a smart formula and intelligent ingredients specially designed to adapt to internal and external skin stresses over the day. 24 hour hydration. SPF 20 protection and shine control to help protect skin from dryness shine control to help protect the skin from dryness I have no idea what the hell that means so SPF 20 protection and shine control to help protect skin from dryness shine and sun exposure I don't know it's so weird anyways the foundation restores tired stressed out skin and improves skin condition so it doesn't really say much about like coverage and stuff so we'll see what the coverage is like now I did buy this online and I, I bought mine from the boots website because I don't know why actually but I got the shade caramel because I saw other people with my similar skin tone buy this and it was the closest looking one and I got a free sponge with it so I'll be using this I don't know I mean it sounds quite hard in the box but we'll try it um so that's kind of nice so i would say if you get something free with it um, might as well buy it on the boots website rather than on the super drug one because you can get like a little free sponge but i'll let you guys know if this is even good enough because on i don't know if you can get a student discount on boots but with super drugs you can get a student discount so whichever you prefer really um because i bought it online i think this may be a bit dark for me i feel like this is my mum's color but if, it, if I really, really like this foundation, I will definitely buy a lighter one and mix it. So I want to see what the formula is like. I mean, I feel like the foundation will be a bit dark, but we'll see. I'm going to go wet the sponge quickly. Okay, so I've now wet it. It's humongous. Humongous. And it's okay, actually. I mean, I do feel like there's a lot of water in it. That's, that's funny. But anyways, I don't know. We'll see. It's not that bad, it's not the softest, but it's not the hardest. You can kind of squeeze it without putting too much pressure on. But anyways, we shall see. Okay, it's not a droopy foundation. Very warm. It's definitely very warm. I don't know that it feels like really thick like that. I can tell it's gonna be dark. I'm not gonna color correct because it is that dark. It's a good thing I'm not going out today. Oh my god, it feels it smells like those old fashioned foundations. That sponge is not working for me. I feel like I'm beating myself up. Oh my lord, it's so orange. It's okay, we can balance it out with some concealer. It's okay, guys. I'm sorry, I really don't like this. I don't like the sponge. I'm just gonna go in with my lovely beauty blender. Okay, it's not the fullest coverage foundation. I look ridiculous right now, but anyways. You can definitely see it's too, oh my lord. I look so orange. I would say this is very, this is like a light to medium coverage. Or like medium coverage. This is not full, because I can still see my skin through. <sighs> what should we do next? Okay, I'm just gonna see, I'm gonna apply some concealer. I'm gonna use my Tarte Shape Tape. See if I can like salvage some of this because this is looking super orange. 
Okay, I think that salvaged it a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna do the rest of my makeup and I'll be right back. Okay, so I've done the rest of my makeup and it looks, I kind of like it. I just feel like I wish the colour was better. Like, the formula is actually not bad and because of the colour, I haven't gone ashy. It's covered my mouth area really well. This lipstick might be a bit light for me, but let's just ignore that. But um, everywhere else looks really good. The makeup seems to apply really well on it. Um... I don't know what else, like, it hasn't dried me out. It's definitely more for, like, a matte foundation. Um, so I get what it means when it says to prevent shine. But yet my skin doesn't feel dry. Doesn't feel dry. And I can't feel the foundation on my face. Um, the sponge was a huge fail, so... It's just nasty. I don't know what I'm going to do with this. That's just... Sorry, Max Factor, but... I feel like the sponge needs a bit of an improvement. I don't know. I'm actually impressed. But then I don't know what I feel. Because I don't know. I've never really tried Max Factor stuff apart from their lip liners. Because they never really had dark colours in their foundations. They never did. So I'm just like... So when I did see the colours I was like okay I need to try this out. And I feel like they did good. But I feel like there's so much warmth in this foundation. I mean who is this orange? Who really is this orange, you know? Maybe because I'm lighter, it's coming out orange, but... Do you know what? I'm going to check online at the other colours. Okay, so they have 16 shades, which is medium okay. 16 shades is okay. When it comes to, like, 5 or 10, I think that's just stupid. When it's to 16 to 25, it's medium, but then when it's 25 or above, I think that's kind of good. Um, so I did obviously go really dark for some reason. I have no idea why. But I feel like if I were to choose another colour, I would get a soft honey. It's so hard because I don't see any swatches online. In my local shops, like Boots or Super Drugs, they don't really have the whole range. So I can't really try them in person. So this is why I always buy it online. So apart, I'm just going to ignore the colour. But if I were to choose one, I would go for soft honey. Because honey beige looks too cool or neutral for me. Even bronze. Bronze looks a bit neutral. And then... The next one is caramel, so I would get soft honey. If you're like an NC for between, a, if you're like an NC forty three shade, like in between NC forty two and NC forty four, then get soft honey. That's what I would get, which is a shame, really. I kind of wish I did because it's so dark, really dark. Like I don't even realize how dark this is. I'm really sorry about that. I mean, normally I'm on point, I'm on point on colors, but today was not the day. So apart from the color, I think it's not a bad foundation. I do think it's a bit pricier for no reason because my uh, Maybelline Superstay one, this one right here, it's really really good and it's like a bit cheaper so I don't know, I don't know why it's that expensive. Anyways, I think they did good on the colours since they didn't really have much so there's always room for improvement and I'm really glad they did that and they give a chance to everyone to try it out. I mean they could do with like more deeper colours but anyways I'm always going to say that aren't I? So far, it's not cracking, it's not separating, but obviously I've just put it on. I just, I'm just like iffy. I don't know what to say about this foundation. It does look good. Here's just a quick close-up. It has like made my skin look really soft and smooth. But we, the real question is how it's going to last throughout the day. I mean, I'm loving the tan, you know, I'm loving the tan look, but I don't like the fact that it's not a natural tan. Um, if I went on holiday, then yeah, I'll have this foundation, but I'll probably have to mix it with a light one. But we'll see how this looks at the end of the day. I'm going to stop rambling. Um, it's now 11.49. Um, we shall see how this looks later on today. I mean, it's not bad in daylight. Just dim down the brightness a bit, but yeah, that's how I look. I definitely look darker than usual. Okay, so I'm now back. It's 7.04 p.m. I've had this foundation for a good seven and a half hours, I would say. I don't remember. I think it was 11 o'clock, 11 a.m. something. I don't know. But anyway, seven hours and the foundation is actually still going really strong. I'm actually really shocked at how my skin looks. I'm not going to lie. At first, I don't know, maybe I was just like a bit cold because I haven't really tried Max Factor and they always had paler shades. But... There's no smile lines, guys. 
I need to show you close up that there's literally no smile lines or separation my skin feels and you know what like I've touched my face so much today and it doesn't transfer it has come off a bit on my nose because obviously I touch my nose a lot the only thing is it's super dark but I just I'm convinced now like I just want to get my color and have it because it's actually a really nice foundation this is just a close-up no smile lines it just looks like it's just still on so guys I'm really really shocked it's got SPF in there it's super easy to blend with the sponge you've got like a medium coverage out of this foundation it's not drying but if you're oily skin you can still wear it because it's not overly shiny um, obviously I did put a really hydrating moisturizer underneath so that's why my foundations do come up like a bit more hydrating but if you use like a moisturizer that's good for your skin type if you have oily skin and you put this on top it would stay matte like it is a matte foundation it's not like greasy or anything seven hours and I haven't even touched it once and I've been home all day like smiling laughing I'm really shocked guys I just want my color now the only thing is like my makeup has gone a bit patchy on the foundation for some reason I don't know why but I can see like only that really but everything else is quite good actually stayed on so I would rate this foundation a 9 out of 10 actually I'll give it an 8 out of 10 because I feel like they could do with more colours I would always say you can always do more colours and, and um, I gave it a point down for like just a bit of the patchiness with other products but everything else is really good so 8, of, eight or 9 out of 10 it's actually really good really good I'm really happy with it um, so yeah I think that's all I have to say guys I really hope you found this review helpful and comment in the comments below what other foundations you'd like to meet you would like me to review next I can't speak I really enjoyed doing this video for you guys thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time